Welcome to the first video of a series where I analyze every single state in the 2024 primary elections. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Now first off, Iowa. Why Iowa? Now this is definitely the first state that holds a primary stash caucus in the 2024 Republican primary election cycle. And this state is very important. It really changes the dynamic of the presidential race. Many candidates end up dropping out after Iowa after if they show have a very poor showing in the first state. So the Iowa voters have a huge job to determine who their GOP nominee will be for the 2024 election cycle. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Now typically in a state like Iowa where a caucus is is the way to hold a primary. Someone like Ron DeSantis won't be able to do as well as someone like Donald Trump because Donald Trump has a more solid base. Voters are willing to wait hours in line just to cast a vote for him. Further, um, Ron DeSantis is not as good as communic for communicating as Donald Trump, which would make him more vulnerable to lose a state like Iowa, in which communication and interactions with voters are very important. This is how Obama won the state back in 2008, de defying the odds. This is really a state that could really go either way, and really candidates need to focus their attention on the state for them to try and win it. And Ron DeSantis, again, is not the greatest candidate for that. So let's get right into today's video. Now for, the, for our prediction. We have to look at the 2016 Iowa Pri Re Republican caucus first. Ted Cruz actually won this over Donald Trump by a very narrow margin. He won eight eight of the of the 30, 30, 30 pledge delegates, and Trump and Marco Rubio both received seven. Now, if you look at the county map here, Marco Rubio did pretty well in some of the urban suburban areas of the state of Iowa. If you can see here, Des Moines, Devonport. Cinder Rapids, these are some of the cities in the state of Iowa. They went for Marco Rubio. Ted Cruz and uh, Donald Trump split many of the rural areas, with Ted Cruz getting the most rural areas and Donald Trump getting some of the ex urban areas. So, in 2024, the dynamic is going to be pretty different. It's expected that um, Ron DeSantis could do better in some of the city areas, given that he is the more moderate candidate and typically more educated voters are not as willing to s support a candidate like Donald Trump. But many rural voters, they will support a candidate like Trump over a candidate like DeSantis. And Iowa is an extremely rural and white state that could help Trump to win the state, which is really why Iowa being the first state could help give Donald Trump a boost in the 2024 presidential election cycle. Now first off, where should where would DeSantis do the best? Well, he won't really be able to do well in that many areas, but he could definitely do be the best in some of the more liberal areas. Des Moines, for example, is one of the most important areas that definitely I would say that DeSantis is going to be able to do well in, given the fact that he again, um, is a candidate that really could do better in some of the more liberal areas. The, the, um, I'm pretty sure these are the two counties that are Des, Mo Des Moines and the county of Story. These are some of the more liberal counties in the state, as well as that we will also see um, Cedar Rapids and Johnson County both be blue because these are, again, um, these are, again, counties that are going to vote most likely are in the 2024 presidential election, blue, and these are candidates where Ron DeSantis could, um, counties that Ron DeSantis could do pretty well. Similarly, in the city of Devonport here and the and Black Hawk, which are all areas with more inhabitants, those are areas that Ron DeSantis are expected to do the best in because these are city areas or at least su suburban areas where Democrats and moderate candidates typically have more appeal. Well, for Donald Trump, he should be able to do very well in some of the state's more rural and conservative areas. For example, Lyon County, Sinox County can pretty much go the entire way here. Th these are counties where Donald Trump could have a very, very solid appeal. So I'm just going to fill in many of these counties here because these are areas at the end of the day that, does that, Ron that Donald Trump can do very, very well in. 
Okay, we've filled in pretty much all of this, uh, all of these solidly Republican counties. Now, going to some of the more exurban slash suburban areas where the election results were closer back in 2020. Areas like Dallas County, Woolbury County, and Boone County, these are counties that Trump still won by huge margins, but not as significant. These are areas that Trump or DeSantis both have a shot at winning in. Again, I think Trump is favored in most of these types of counties because, again, voters are more enthusiastic on the Trump side over the DeSantis side. And that's going to help Ron DeSantis end up winning some of these. Um, that's going to help Donald Trump end up winning some of these more competitive counties. Now for Donald Trump here, I think he's going to win, again, a lot of the rural areas. Now for some of the state uh, counties that borderline, states like Illinois and states like Wisconsin, those areas could be closer because this is typically where Democrats actually do the best in presidential elections beside their solidly blue bases in Democratic cities. Barack Obama won most of the states most of the the vast majority of the counties bordering Illinois and Wisconsin back in 2008 and 2012. And these are voters that may be more friendly towards someone like Ron DeSantis. And I think he'll be able to win a count, uh, this county over here, but really Trump still would likely s pretty much get the remainder of the state. Because again, Trump's appeal is way too strong in, the, in a state like Iowa, in which he did very well compared to what Obama did back, um, Obama's opponent Mitt Romney did in 2012. And that's it. This is the county map. Now, what is my official prediction? At this moment in time, I think that Donald Trump should be able to get around 60 to 65 percent of the votes in Iowa to Trump's about, uh, to Ron DeSantis' about 30 percent against the other candidates around 7 or 8 percent combined. This will be a very poor showing for, for the Florida governor. However, in states where there are primaries, he could potentially do better and end up winning the primary election cycle. Nothing is set in stone, but this is how I predict the first date will look like at the very end. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.